Tuesday, December 11th, 10 a.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at a long-range weather forecast that's showing the possibility for a major winter storm through Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. I'm talking a super storm that could produce many feet of snow, a massive blizzard over the Christmas season. And we're going to take a look at that here in just a minute, when and where, but we are still trying to recover from the most recent blizzard, which they're calling Mammoth, and they're saying some of the snow totals were staggering through the Carolinas and in Virginia. What we're looking at here is poweroutage.us, and you can see still, two days later, North Carolina's got 36,000 without power. They've come a long way considering it was over 200,000, close to 300,000. South Carolina at 15,000 and Virginia at 11,000. The power outages you see in California are directly related to the Paradise Wildfire. I think that's being called the Camp Wildfire. Power will be out there for quite some time. However, in the coming days, if this snowstorm does develop, we could see more power outages. This is a very long range weather forecast. I don't normally do long range weather forecasts like this, but I do trust my sources as they're always reliable, not perfect, but very, very good, like tropicaltidbits.com. When you go two weeks out, any forecast, I don't care what computer model does it, there could be variances in the forecast between the time you do the forecast and two weeks later. A lot can change. But right now, the steering systems, the jet streams, the moisture placement, Everything is pointing towards a massive blizzard on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day through the mid-Mississippi River Valley, the Ohio River Valley, and the Upper Northeast. What you're looking at now is a series of highs and lows moving across the United States. And this is over the course of 10 days from today up through December the 20th. The moisture in place for this blizzard obviously is always there. It's coming from the Gulf of Mexico. It's going to be pulled up into the upper northeast from a low system that's coming across. It's out in the Pacific right now. It's going to come across the Rockies, grab a hold of this moisture in the Gulf, pull it up into the Ohio River Valley, and you're going to see a massive snowstorm if the models stay the same between now and then. And weather charts. Um, .eu is a, another very reliable source of information when it comes to weather. These guys are very good. And it goes up to two weeks sometimes with uh, weather forecasting models. And this is one of those times. And you can see two weeks out, there is a massive system over the upper northeast with a central low pressure of 991 millibars. That's the equivalency of some tropical storms. That's very low, and that's going to have, it. well, you can see the deep purples, a lot of moisture. Let me show you where that moisture is coming from. We're going to move this model through, and you can see on the 20th, it's starting to come across the Pacific Northwest. It's going to go over the Rockies, right there, and it's at 1,006 millibars, which is very common for a low-pressure system. Now, when it goes through Kansas, Missouri, Notice that Gulf moisture here start to move north. There's a big system down here below Mexico that's pushing this moisture to the north and it's going to team up with this low pressure system and form a giant blizzard if the models stay the same between now and then. So this is on Monday the 24th. There's that moisture going up into that low pressure system. Monday, this is Christmas Eve. Look at all the snow through central Illinois, Missouri, up into Indiana, Michigan, southeastern Wisconsin, parts of Iowa, northwestern Arkansas, and then there's going to be a line of freezing rain and sleet through there on the edge where the snow meets the rain. There's always that thin line of freezing rain. So that's on Christmas Eve. Copious snowfall, talking multiple inches, at least an inch per hour in places, at least. That's Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. You can see what this storm does. Goes clear up into Canada, uh, completely engulfs Ohio, western Pennsylvania, New York, Toronto, Michigan. That is one massive storm. And that's 992 millibars. That's a very low central low pressure for a winter storm. And then on Christmas Day, you can see the deep purples again. 
Those are multiple inch totals per hour over New York, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, West or Eastern New York, New Jersey, and that's uh, beginning on Christmas Eve, all through Christmas Day. So you guys wanted a white Christmas, more than likely you're going to have an abundance of snow on Christmas if this weather forecast holds true to form. And to me, it looks like it's going to the systems or the mechanics that are in place right now that are going to make this possible are way over here out in the far west Pacific, slowly moving to the east. This is the Himwari, the GO-17. Go to the GO-16. This is where this moisture is going to be pushed up into that low pressure system that's going to generate this massive snowstorm that could potentially drop a foot, maybe two foot of snow. And if I'm looking at this correctly, which weather charts is always a good source of information the isobars aren't super tight but they're tight enough to imply that there's going to be high winds associated with these uh, heavy snowfall totals at least moderate winds not necessarily high winds the tighter these lines are together that means the windier the area uh, will be and the lines are pretty close but not super tight so that's going to tell us that there's going to be a little bit of wind associated with a lot of snow on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Look for a huge blizzard, quite possibly a record-setting blizzard. And if this is the heavy snow, like they saw down in the Carolinas, like this picture that Sean sent in from Tyson, North Carolina, you can see what that heavy snow does. It puts a lot of weight on trees, on power lines, which puts stress on power poles. And that's what creates the power outages when these big trees that say maybe haven't been trimmed in a while or they haven't seen any type of heavy snow in years any tropical storms in years i know that's what happened in orlando florida back in 2004 when hurricane charlie went through the area the area had not seen a tropical storm in decades so there was a lot of overgrowth that overgrowth became wind sails for the high winds that were associated with hurricane charlie and those things became airborne projectiles in some cases and a lot of the branches and trees were simply blown over into power lines and it took out power for a large part of the Orlando area up to a month uh, in places I know some of my friends were without power for easily over two weeks but look for a big storm system guys that's forming now all of the mechanics are in place slowly but surely making its way from west to east rendezvous on christmas eve christmas day in illinois indiana michigan ohio new york and the entire upper northeast including maine look for a white christmas and hopefully the snow will be a, a nice light powdery snow not this heavy snow like they've encountered down here in the carolinas and virginia that can and will take out power lines and uh, that's a long time getting that set back up. These guys have done a tremendous job. There were 400,000, over 400,000 at one time without electricity in this area. And right now they've got everybody restored uh, with the exception of maybe 60,000 people. So their hard work has got the power back on to almost 80% of the people that were affected by that major storm. So good job, guys. And big heads up. The mechanics are in place for a giant blizzard on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day over the northeastern United States. Over in England on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, looks pretty quiet weather-wise. Shouldn't see any type of precipitation or snow. Even the temperatures, I think, are going to be pretty mild, at least according to this long-range forecast. But again, long-range forecasts can and will change, but right now, look for a massive Christmas blizzard in the upper northeast 2018 thanks for watching guys have a super day and be safe out there